you guys are doing well. I hope that life finds you very well and very fiery. All right, Aries. We're going to pull on your main energies and see what's happening. And then we'll get messages with tarot and hopefully some advice on your challenge. You guys feel free to follow me down below for the extended. You'll see links to the extended single purchase and also my Patreon. Okay, Aries. What is happening in the land of Aries today? What is happening in the land of Aries? Three cards for Aries. Hold your vision. Okay. Two more, please. Two more. Two more. The energy is gaining momentum. Take time to breathe out. All right, Aries. I. <laughs> the big word of the day that I'm hearing right now is wait. Wait, 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 wait. Someone has you waiting. You are waiting and the energy is building up between you and this person. And I think what's happening right now is this is giving you the clarity. I feel as though you're having to do this for a specific reason. You're being forced to wait or an individual has you waiting in, in your relationship. They're not pushing the energy forward and instead... It is gaining a very slow momentum. Something is happening behind the scenes here with Hold Your Vision. I feel like maybe you're not seeing it, okay, with this fixed moon. It's like something, um, someone may be going through a big change right now, you or them, but you're, you're being asked here with Take Time to Breathe Out to let this opportunity or whatever is happening unfold in its own time, okay? Hmm. I am curious who has Aries on the side. What is waiting here? What are you waiting for? Oh my God. I don't know. Let's see. Three shuffles here. And then we will hopefully get some more answers. Okay. Tell me about Aries and holding their vision. What is Aries being to wait for here now granted you don't have to wait for anything okay you can do whatever you want <laughs> but i feel the situation you're dealing with right now is kind of stuck all right and you're just there waiting all right we've got anxiety here with the nine of swords you guys are afraid okay you're afraid of a situation not possibly turning out in your favor or the other person is giving you anxiety because you are waiting you're, you're just I, I really feel aries like the more you wait here, the the more your fears get built up. You know, the more you feel like, okay, is there something going on that I don't know about? Is there something going on? Like, are they doing something? Uh, some of you guys may have been ghosted, I'm hearing as well. And this causes a bit of fear. I hate being ghosted. It's the worst thing ever. Um, let's get one more card here. Okay, Ten of Cups in Reverse. There is a lot of emotional dissatisfaction right now and fear because of this situation. I also feel this is speaking to the other person that you're dealing with. I think that maybe they're going through some kind of emotional problems right now. And this is affecting your connection. Big time. Like both of you guys are... Maybe maybe they're having uh, trouble sleeping. Maybe they're going through some kind of wake up. Something is happening here behind the scenes for sure. Um, and this is causing a lot of worry. Like you feel like maybe this person is out to get you and there's no s happiness here or they feel you're out to get them. Whatever's happening here, like there is a possibility. This is what I'm hearing with this Ten of Cups for you guys to work things out and to have emotional fulfillment here. But the person... Like, they have you on hold. I feel like you are you are literally on hold, Aries. And you're like, what do I do next? But with the energy gaining momentum presently, I feel like mm, there is a bigger issue here. Like, a bigger thing at play. Uh, the universe, uh, spirit. There's something interfering with this situation. And it's not allowing you to interact fully with this person okay 
Let's see what we have. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. High Priestess in reverse. That is what I thought. Okay, there is something you don't know about going on behind the scenes. And no, I don't think it's cheating or something along those lines. Someone here is being forced with the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's literally... They are being taught something about their emotions here. The High Priestess is literally a gateway to this spiritual lesson that they're learning big time. They have something going on in their spirit. There is something in their soul that they're being forced to look at here. And the energy is building up. Someone may be hiding how they feel about you or not giving the full <laughs> uh, emotional um, fulfillment in your guys' relationship. And so we have the High Priestess in reverse here. Someone, <laughs> they're retreating. Um, look at this. Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck in reverse. You could be dealing with a feminine uh, energy here. Someone is retreating into themselves. They are not communicating properly. And with the High Priestess in reverse, they're learning something. Okay. There is... Some of you, I heard this person might be sick. Okay. Like, <laughs> don't say that. What do I feel that? Like, sick in the head? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, but somebody is dealing with either a sickness or soul sickness. Yes, soul sickness is what, what I'm hearing. But at the same time, your perspective, Aries, what's happening is you're, you're afraid. I feel like you're afraid that this person doesn't actually feel anything for you, but I think they do. However, there is a falsity here with this high priestess in reverse. There is some kind of mask. There is some kind of secret. You're you're not seeing everything because I think that spirit, in a sense, is protecting you in this situation. Someone, you're being protected while the energy builds up. It's like something that's going on with this person is teaching them an emotional lesson about how to be more real. How to be more real with you. How to be more real in their life. Someone has been wearing a mask. They've been fake. Someone has been massively fake. And your energy, Aries, I think it's triggered this. Okay? Emotionally, with the Ten of Cups. But you're not very fulfilled currently with the situation. And I understand. So let's take a look at the Take Time to Breathe Out. I feel there's going to be a period of silence or a period where this individual is like not going to reach out to you or you guys are not. Yeah, let's let's see. Take time to breathe out. Tell me about this. Can we have some deeper insight into take time to breathe out? Judgment in reverse. Ooh, baby. One more. The moon in reverse. Yep. All right, Aries, be careful. Okay, be careful how you view this situation right now with whatever's happening with your person because they are going through it. Like their soul is going through it. And be careful how harshly you judge the situation because, I mean, this won't be for all of you. Some of you will just literally say, fuck it, right? The moon here. There is not enough, okay, there is, there hasn't been enough clarity, but the truth will come through eventually. There is going to be a period where it feels there's illusion around you, or there's not enough truth, there's not enough um, stability, there, like, you feel like the relationship is kind of falling apart, and Aries, like, whatever's happening here, okay, don't be quick to judge. Do not be quick to judge because I think this individual is going through, like, they're learning about emotional um, opening. Like, they're trying to open up or their heart space is, um, it's growing or it's expanding. There's an alchemical process, I feel, happening. But right now, you're very, very uncomfortable with the way that things are. are. And we have, on the bottom of the deck, your challenge for this week with this is the ace of cups do you see what i'm saying this is all about healing emotional um healing and growth and spirituality someone here is 
they're being taught a very valuable lesson about being the Queen of Cups. I feel someone is alchemizing into the Queen of Cups to open up to you. and it's But it's not a very pleasant situation. Aries, you're kind of like, I'm re I am I hear this, I'm ready to just go, fuck it, fuck it, just fuck it, forget it, fuck it. Okay, Aries is ready to just jump the ship, jump ship. But I feel whatever's happening here, okay, is the lesson, is allowing a space for emotional healing to come through. Allow this person's emotions to overflow and fill, okay, within them. Because I think they've been wearing a mask. They have been wearing a mask. Yeah, we've got Page of Swords in reverse. You're not going to get much communication. Um, Seven of Wands here in the reverse. More, more protective energy here. Four of Pentacles. Someone is protecting their space and they're holding on to um, either some kind of resentment or bitterness or something here with Judgment in reverse. There's something that needs to die, okay, and needs to stay dead. And whatever it is, right, you, you will get the full picture here with the moon eventually but right now it feels like you're gonna have to just breathe out this energy and like let it like let it flow let it go some of you i heard this is a friend that you're really close to that you guys were enjoying your time together and then like they just suddenly you realize they were wearing a mask and they're now learning a lesson okay about their own mask this person is definitely hiding emotion they have a lot of love here so your challenge is to realize that, or at least it, for those of you who are willing to accept this challenge instead of just running off into the hills, like you already know on an intuitive level here that this person is keeping things a secret, okay? So let's get you guys some Oracle cards and you can follow me for the extended down below. We're going to explore their feelings for you, what they're going through. We'll take a look at hidden energies as well and your challenge a little bit more. Ooh, my goodness. Sorry about that. Right here. Okay, this one wanted to fly out. Blossoming abundance. So there is an energy here. Three. The number three is really important. It's sticking out to me here. There is abundance here there is an opportunity for growth here and i think that you guys if you focus and turn more like uh more of your prospect towards your abundance towards growing things in your own life it's going to shift your energy out of this anxiety and disappointment and feeling like no i'm not going to get what i've wanted with this person like some of you guys are really worried that this you thought this was your wish you thought this person was your emotional happiness but now you're just in fear or you're just like What's going to happen next? So turn that abundance to what you're good at, Aries. Creating your own life. You have the fire in you to do that. Okay, six chakra. This person has, I feel, a closed third eye. And now they're being triggered. Okay. They're getting maybe a flood of energy from the universe here or from source creator, the higher force, the, the, their higher self even is trying to come through. It's trying to break through this high priestess mask, which is a very tough, it's a very tough mask, very hard to break. This person may appear, <laughs> they may appear spiritual to you, right? But they're really not. They may appear like, I know the knowledge I have. Um, I know this, I know that, um about spirituality and uh being ooh, why do i like dark magic okay i'm hearing dark magic um is biting this person in the ass okay or things they did in their life is biting them in the ass now that were around f false or the dark side so to speak the dark side they're facing it woman holding a coin so right now your money okay your groundedness in reality most important most important 42 is the mean of the universe and life and everything i don't know if you guys know hitchhikers but yeah you guys right now everything okay is about your money right now stay strong in whatever it is you're doing because whatever's happening here with your individual oh man they're they're they have the queen of cups is is here 
Okay? The Queen of Cups is trying to show this person something, and they've been disconnected here with the High Priestess in reverse from their, from the light. Okay? From maybe not so much the light, but authentic understanding of emotion. And the, hopefully alchemizing over into a Queen of Cups energy so that they can give you what they really want to give you, but they're not allowing themselves to. All right, Aries, join me for the extended down below. I hope to see you there.